Hi, I'm Davin Ogura. I'm a real estate expert in the LA area. Today I'm in the desert in 29 Palms, the property that I purchased near Joshua Tree. I want to give you guys an update of everything that I've done to the property. It's already up on Airbnb and I want to give you guys an update as well on the profits and the cost of everything. So let's start with the cost. First of all, if you buy something in the desert, you have to keep in mind that you're going to come across a few things. Number one, contractors will complain a lot about coming out here. So it's going to cost you extra money. They're going to start saying, oh, I spent so much on gas money this week. I'm going to need more money next week for the stuff that I'm doing for you because I'm spending a lot of money on gas. So they're always going to complain about that. I went through three contractors on all the projects that I've done here. And that was the biggest complaint. Second, uh, because it's really far away, they don't show up when they're supposed to. They, it's already hard to get contractors to show up uh, if you're in cities like LA, like the one that I live in, where there's plenty and they usually don't show up on time either. Here it's even worse. Number three, you can't really monitor the jobs because it's kind of far away from where I live. I was about two and a half hours away. So I couldn't really monitor what they were doing. For example, the shower, they didn't really put a hot mop on the floor. So now I'm going to have to rip out the tile and put a hot mop in there. It's fixed temporarily. So there's no like water leaks or anything, but still it's going to have to be redone, which is very annoying, but something to keep in mind when you're doing construction out here. Now, in terms of my cost, I spent about $30,000 into this property. Most of it when, um, and the plumbing side of it, it was about $12,000, not six like I was estimating because the washer and dryer had a bunch of issues. Used the shower had a bunch of issues. So the six grant you uh, get new plumbing all over the house. Plus had to fix the storage room where the washer and dryer is. It was a draining problem there. Plus another draining problem in the shower got all the way up to 12,000 quick. The deck uh, looks beautiful and all, as you guys see in the video, I completely love it. Came out like super cool with the pool and all. It was a little challenging too. Contractor took about three weeks to build it. He said it was gonna take him one. Um, issues that I just told you about, like he wasn't showing up on time. He would reschedule on us here and there. So got a little bit complicated. Uh, it cost about $8,000, which all in, I don't think it's that bad for a deck and a pool, ready to go. The pool pump, since it's not a traditional pool pump, it breaks pretty often. So it's something to keep in mind if you're building a pool in the desert, probably best to just spend like 2,000 on a good pool pump instead of buying the three, four, $500 ones. Um, that way you're not gonna have as many issues with it, even though a traditional pool pump is more than enough for something like that still you know just you want to minimize the issues you have so you don't have to come out here as often um, so that would be my recommendation thank God inside we didn't have to buy a lot of furniture we basically like swap out the the mattress so we have a Casper mattress in there I want to make sure guests sleep well it's a good tip too if you're gonna you know start hosting on Airbnb that's really important we kept the same appliances. We definitely want to upgrade them to stainless steel in the future. It looks a lot better, makes the kitchen looks a lot fresher, but we're going to save that for when we remodel the kitchen. Um, everything else was kept the same outside of the bathroom, which you will see in the videos completely brand new. We had to change all the tiles and give a fresh vibe to it. It looks pretty good now. Eventually we may change the vanity, which is kind of small, doesn't fill a lot of stuff in there, it's like kind of uncomfortable, but I want to minimize my cost for now since we're already at 30000 Speaking of that, my mortgage, like I had said, is at $1,600 in the previous video. Um, my goal was to get a minimum of 200 a night during the week and 279 during the weekend. We are accomplishing that at this moment and on the first month is already making 4k so that's pretty good i hope to get to 300 a night during the week and a minimum of 400 a night during the weekend i do think it's possible i just need to build a couple upgrades around this property which is the kitchen just like i had talked about 
a hot tub and an outdoor shower. So that's gonna be in the works for the next few months. I'm gonna be showing you guys that in the video so you understand if it's gonna be challenging, hopefully not as challenging as the pool and all the plumbing situation. But all in, I think it's a good investment, you know, put 5% down to this property, another $30,000 to uh, fix it and and to buy furniture as well mortgage is at 1600 um, i do believe it's going to be making more the next couple a uh, few months even more during the summer so i'm pretty excited about that hope you guys enjoyed this video this is going to help you guys like make a really good educated move when you decide to buy in the desert or in outside areas like big bear and arrowhead um, this is a good example to follow and if you have any questions about properties outside LA that you want to Airbnb, feel free to reach out anytime. Don't forget to subscribe to the website as well so you can get a curated list of properties just like this one and a lot of other properties around LA that make really good financial sense. So, and stay tuned for the next video. See you guys soon.